What's up guys, it's I'm Not Epic Gaming and today we're going to be fighting Jorgen with the Witch Doctor. Now this is a viewer request. Uh, they wanted me to try Jorgen with the Cultist with the Kurga Bottle, a Cultist with the Freya Flask. I've already done those two and the other request was to do Jorgen with the Witch Doctor. Now it's going to be the same thing as a Cultist where you just get in close, get him to use his big circle stun skills and you... Uh, run out of it then you start attacking him uh witch doctor has uh, a passive skill which is damage absorption while attacking with flash the witch doctor applies a protective effect on himself and absorbs uh from three to twenty percent of incoming damage for three seconds this effect can be applied up to five times now i don't see where it said on the skill like i guess it's just uh just five times it can be applied passively I don't think we're going to be using this. It removes damage absorption uh, effects from which Dr. Heals you and allies nearby for uh, for 7 to 50 uh, hit points. Amount of healing depends on the maximum number of uh, effects removed. Now, I don't think that counts as like a dispel. You know how like on a cultist you have the ghost form, which is kind of like a free dispel. Uh, I don't think this counts. The cure, I don't think it counts as that. But we'll have to, if we have to, we'll test it out. Hopefully we won't have to. The Freya's Blessing, uh, Magic Orbs heal, Orb heals you and allies nearby for 80 and deals 80 damage to enemies for 2 seconds. Uh, the orb then explodes, stunning enemies and removing the knockdown effect from injured allies. Um, so that's basically it. On my mount, I have damage bonus damage in Sanctum 7%, damage resistance in Sanctum 7%, and the dagger damage, which... Um, in the, in a future video i'm gonna hopefully get damage to monsters bring an insta gear uh, i brought some dragon armor for skull uh because we will be doing a an occultist versus skull video so i need to go ahead and put these uh items in a chest just in case witch doctor doesn't work out so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and put this up this up this up all right uh, I have a good feeling that we'll still be able to beat him. Oh, yeah, my runes. Uh, you guys like to see my runes. These are the runes I'm using for Jorgen. Uh, Witch Doctor, I need to see. He does plus 45% flash damage. Not good, but you do get 135 points of health, which puts me at 424, which is really, really good. Uh, I would much rather have the damage, but, hey, I understand that this, ta this class is more of like a uh, tank slash healer. So, and we even do have some extra health runes on there. So, this is, these are my runes. Alright, so with that being said, my Odin's resets in like two hours. So, I am going to be kind of on a on a time crunch. Because I want to get this video in. And I, if you, as you can see over here, I still have Skull living. Uh, I want to go over there and fight Skull with the cultists to see how that will do. But uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and see what we can do. Let's get him to... All right, he didn't use his uh, small skill. There he goes. All right, he stunned me. All right, so that blessing thing doesn't work as a... Uh, I'm going to have to use my dispel. That uh, blessing thing does not work as a dispel. We just found that out. And I'm hoping that I have enough armor to last to kill him. I probably should have brought that uh, extra set of armor just in case. See if we can get him to use his stun arrow. There he goes. Go in close. See if we can get him to use his, uh, yep. There we go. So now we can start back attacking him. Use my armor potion. All right, let's run away. See if he can use that stun arrow. There we go. See if we can get in close. There he goes. Whoops. Come on, come on, come on, get out, get out. There we go. All right. So Witch Doctor's working pretty good so far. All right, let's back out. You don't want to stay in there too long. There's the stun arrow. Let's get in close. There he goes. Oops, crap, 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 crap. 
All right, there we go. Armor's going down. We got him under 5,000. All right, it's getting close. All right. Use our armor potion. All right. I was going to test it. I was testing the... Um, I was count I was going by the uh, the weakening darts cooldown to see I'm gonna get him to use the stun arrow again probably not a good idea because of my armor but I was gonna see if I could time his stun arrow with the weakening dart okay he just used it so let's go in close all right get him to use the skills and then we'll use rage all right I think I had like four seconds left on my uh, weakening dart cool down so I'm gonna move out of the way then all right there we go now let's move all right let's get in close there we go weakening dart all right so which doctor works somewhat good I guess um you can kill him with witch doctor uh but i would not i mean honestly i wouldn't advise it um but i understand if you only have your witch doctor level four that's basically how you kill him just just what i just did you know get in close you can hit him if you have weakening darts wait till your weakening dark cooldown gets to about five seconds then start running around um yeah so it can be done so that's gonna do it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it um i'll see you on the next one i'm not epic out <laughs>